Hi, this is Jensen Earth Science. Today I'm going to do an overview of how to create a topographic profile. So how to start making a topographic profile, the first thing you need is a topographic map. Here's our topographic map uh, with our compass, north, south, east, west. Our first contour line will be 100, second will be 200, 300. The next one is also 300, 200, 100 because they're the same contour line. Our contour interlude will be 100 feet. So all those values are in feet. Next thing to know is when contour lines are close together, the gradient is high or very steep. And that would be the west side of this contour map. When contour lines are far apart, the gradient is low or has a gentle slope, which would be the east side of this map. So our contour, our contour interval we said was 100 feet, and here's our map again. So when you're drawing a profile, you get a graph that looks like this. This is where you will, this is where you will draw the topographic profile. The next thing I need to do is I take a scrap piece of paper and I line it up with all the contour lines that we're using. After that, the first step I'll do is I'll mark where the 100 contour line is. I'll mark it 100. Next step, I'll mark off 200. Next step, I'll mark off 300. Next step is I'll mark off 300 once again because it's a circle and they connect, or it's an oval but they connect, and I'll mark that 300. The next one is 200 again. And the last one is 100 again. The next step is I take that piece of scrap paper and I put it at the bottom of my graph that I'm drawing my profile on. So here's the same thing that we just marked off at the bottom. The next step is to plot the points exactly where they are on the topographic map onto the topographic profile. Notice that not all of the points will be the same amount in between each point. So I marked off 100, that's my starting line. Then to help me I'll draw a line up to 200 where it should meet. I'll draw a line up to 300 where it should meet with 300. I'll draw another line to mark it off where 300 should be again and I'll plot my point. I'll do the same thing with the last 200 and then finally my last 100 is on the very end. Then I can get rid of all of those lines because I was just using those to help me. And the last final step is to connect those lines. So I connect 100 to 200, 200 to 300. Then I connect 300 back to 300, but it must be a curved line. It cannot stay straight from 300 to 300. It has to go above 300 since we can assume this is like a hill or a mountain. And it's going to have a top to it. So the top will not reach 400 because there is no 400 contour line, but it is not just staying exactly at 300. So when I connect like, like contour lines, it has to be a curve above 300. As long as it's above that 300 line and goes back down to 300, that's okay. Then I'll do my 300 back to 200 and my 200 back to 100. And this will be your final product. And just to reiterate, since this is a hill or a mountain, when connecting like contour values, in this example it was 300 feet, you must bring the connecting line above 300 feet before reconnecting it, reconnecting it again. It cannot be a straight line to 300 feet and cannot touch the 400 foot, line, uh, 400 foot contour line. This is because there is no 400 foot value on the contour map. I hope this was helpful. Please check out other playlists I've made on this topic as well. Have a great day.